going to start off by making a basic brown sauce, otherwise known as espagnole sauce. This is one of the five mother sauces as defined in French cooking. From this sauce, you can make many children, such as demi-glace or other types of brown sauces. So I'm going to start off with an onion, a carrot, and a stick of celery. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roughly chop them and get them into my mini prep. Now, the chopping of these vegetables is not that important. Um, I just like to chop them a little bit finer so that they uh, brown up a little faster. So we'll get our carrot. So it's one carrot, one half of an onion, a half a medium onion, and stick of celery. All right, I'm gonna make a little bit of noise. Like I said, the chopping of these is not that critical, but the fatter the vegetables, the longer they'll take to saute. So take this off, get rid of that. I'm gonna bring over my little burner here and turn that on. And to that, I'm gonna add six tablespoons of either vegetable or canola oil. You don't need to use olive oil here. As a matter of fact, you don't want to because that'll impart a different type of taste. So there we go. And we'll get our veggies in here. And this sauce is, I'm telling you, it's amazing. Um, and we'll, we will turn this sauce into a demi glass later. The only thing about this sauce is it does take time. So this is the kind of thing that if you're home for the morning, because you can do it in stages and then leave it and go do something else. So what I'm going to do here now is I am going to just saute these in this oil for about five minutes until they get soft. Our vegetables are nice and soft now, so I'm going to add three tablespoons of flour. This is gonna add part of our thickening. We will add some tomato paste later on. Now that we added the flour, I need to combine that well and then cook it for approximately, oh, two to three minutes until the flour is, you get rid of that flour taste. And actually, if the flour and the vegetables start turning a little brown, don't worry about it, that's even better. But don't let them get so brown that they start smelling like they're burned. While that's browning, I'm going to chop up three mushrooms, just three. This is These vegetables, the aromatics, the mushrooms, the carrot, the onion, the celery are all going to be removed later on. The sauce is going to get strained. They will have given up their taste by then. So again, it's just a rough chop on the mushrooms. And I think we're all set here. I'm going to add a tablespoon of tomato paste and mix that around well. You want it to get all through the vegetables. You don't want to have a big clump somewhere, although that wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, that's pretty much spread around. I'm going to add those mushrooms. And then to it, I'm going to add four cups of beef stock, not beef broth. There's a difference, There's, stock is so much richer. Now, years ago, you couldn't find stock in a supermarket. You had to make it yourself by baking the bones for hours and hours until they got brown and then covering with vegetables and then cooking them on top of the stove and water until you got a big stock. But nowadays, we're lucky. We have really good stock in the supermarkets. So four cups of a nice beef broth. We're going to add one cup more later on and I'll tell you why later. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the sauce to a boil and then I'm going to turn it down low and let it simmer for approximately 35 to 40 minutes. And then we will add the next, we'll do the next step. This is why I said this is the kind of sauce that's good to make when you're home all day because you can now leave this after it's simmering and go off and do something else in the house. All right, so there we go. I'll bring it to a boil, and then we'll simmer it for 35 to 40 minutes. All 
All right, it's been about 40 minutes on our brown sauce. It's been simmering, smells amazing. And what I've been doing during that time, every once in a while I'd come by with a spoon and skim off any scum that accumulates. Um, that just gets rid of some of the fats. Now, this is, um, we're going to add another cup of cold beef stock. This is the last one, five in all. And the reason you do that is, from what I have learned, is that putting cold stock into warm broth like that accelerates the production of scum and you can get rid of all that junk even faster. So now we're going to cook this for another 15, 20 minutes and then we will be ready to proceed and make some demi-glace sauce. And again, I will keep skimming. All right, our brown sauce is ready and we're ready to start turning it into a demi-glace. The first thing I need to do is strain out all those vegetables. They've given up all they can. So we're going to put this down here. It's just my stove beeping. Now we're going to strain out all, as much of the nice brown sauce that we can. Oh God, this smells wonderful. There's our basic brown sauce. Now you could take this and put this in a tight covered container in the refrigerator and it'll keep seven to 10 days and you can just use it as you need it. I'm gonna make a demi-glace now. To do that, I'm going to start off with one cup of cold beef stock again. And to that, I'm going to add one cup of this wonderful brown sauce. I'm making a mess, but that's okay. And what we're going to do is this has to cook now again till it reduces in half. So that's going to take about 45 minutes. But we're going to, now I can't get it to start. Okay, here we go. And now I'm going to make something called a bouquet garni, which is going to give a lot of flavor to the sauce. And a bouquet garni is traditionally bay leaves, parsley, and thyme. And I'm going to wrap it in a piece of cheesecloth. Um, you can get cheesecloth in supermarkets nowadays. You can get them in canning sections of stores or you can get it online if you can't find it. A lot of uses for it. And I'm gonna put in my parsley, a few sprigs of thyme. I keep some fresh vegetables in pots in my kitchen throughout the winter. So I have things to cook with. I'm just gonna roll it up, tie it with a piece of string. And I got one length of the string longer than the other so that when I put this in the pot, I don't have to go looking for it later. I just leave it hanging over the side. Now, we're gonna just let this cook down 40 to 45 minutes until it reduces in half and then that will be demi-glace sauce and I'll show you one way to serve it. It's been about 45 minutes and our sauce is all done. It's reduced and my string fell in so I'm gonna have to use these to grab my bouquet garni out of there. It's given up all its goodness. Get that out of there. And now I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to pour the sauce into a container. Now, if I was having company, I would put this in a nice sauce boat, but since it's just you and me and we're friends, you understand. Now, I'm going to go get something and show you how to serve this. Here we have a couple of filet mignon with mushrooms and some broccoli on the side. And here is our demi-glace sauce. I don't know about you, but my, my mouth and my tongue are dancing. So here you go. Here is your demi-glace sauce made from a mother sauce of brown espanol sauce. I hope you try it. It's a real good one.